for details. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Helen Keeney. We're continuing our 24-hour scrapbooking, crafting event here. And this hour features the one and only Sara Davies with Crafter's Companion. So let me give you a peek at one of the exciting items that we have coming up in the show. We have got the Christmas Verse Stamp Bundle. It's a customer pick on hsn.com. So you have over 230 elements. It creates at least 32 cards, envelopes, seals, stickers, vellum and paper inserts to add a finishing touch to your written cards. It's easy to use, easy to store. Simply peel them from the backing sheet, place them on the acrylic block, an ink stamp, and 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 once you're done, you're done. You're just, you're, you're good to go. So we've got this. It's a this day only. The price goes away at the end of the day. Under $100 at $99.99 for Flex at $25. And we are also doing a fill your card shipping special. That's right. For $9.95 you can fill your cart. You can buy 20 things or 30 things. All the same total shipping is $9.95 so I love that but let's talk about Sara Dave. Sara is she's an incredible woman she started her business in the dorm room at her university uh, she just has always loved crafting and it grew into a global business as a matter of fact she's a bit of a celebrity over there in the UK um, I mentioned earlier that uh, of course there she is getting pinned by royalty but she's also on I know this is just as exciting more excited to be she's on the British version of Dancing with the Stars and she's doing incredibly well she is doing phenomenal I've actually shared some of her dances on my Helen Keeney HSN Facebook page if you want to check them out but we're going to do an entire hour welcome Sara into the show for our first item which is the secret garden bundle it's brand new today hey Sara <laughs> Hey, Helen, I'm back. I told you I wasn't going very far. I've had a quick cup of tea and I'm ready for a full hour of awesomeness. Okay, let's go. I know, I know, I can't believe your energy with all the rehearsing and the dancing and then here you are live. I know it's a nighttime over there, but the, you saved some stuff for my show. You made this a really special show yes. and I appreciate that. Oh, this whole hour, Helen, I can tell you, we've got some brand new, some world launches, some exclusive product that will never be available anywhere else. It's really awesome what we've got lined up. And this item here, now I did preview this this morning, and this has just been one of those items that's really lit up. So there's been talk and chatter on Facebook about it all day, and it's this secret garden collection, Helen. So it's this idea that you kind of go into the secret garden. So we've got like these beautiful beautiful little gate. You can do your outside pieces, things inside of your card. You can tell the story. But anytime we do anything floral, garden related like this, you guys love it. This is a brand new collection. World launch, the first time anyone's seen it this morning. And just beautiful, beautiful dyes, stamps, embellishments, papers, everything to work together. So what I'll do, Helen, is I'll walk you through everything that's in the kit. So first of all, I want you to kind of think of it three ways as it was. First of all, it's like how we get into the secret garden. So we've got some incredible dies and embossing folders here. So this is that beautiful big gate that you saw. And the idea is that you die cut it, Helen, but the gates open so that you can Ooh. use it on the front of a card. You can build Look it into that. the card. And then your secret garden is inside these gates. So you've got this beautiful, big, really detailed die set there with the secret gates. Now, you might also be wanting to get into the secret garden with this stamp set with the matching dies. So I love this because the idea is you're going to stamp this beautiful design. It colors up incredibly well. But then you also have the die cut piece. This is the die which cuts out the door so that you can all open the door and put your own little pieces behind the door. So you've got the stamp and the die to go with it and all of these little accessory pieces to embellish it. So that's the second component. And then we've also got this embossing folder. Now, it's not just a regular embossing folder, Helen, because it's one of these embossing folders that has the die built into it. So what it's going to do is it's going to emboss this beautiful designer artwork around the outside. 
and then it's going to cut out the little gate where you can walk through. So can you see this beautiful card here? You've got all this detail on the side, but then you can open the gate and look through into the inside of the card. There's that beautiful girl on the inside of the card. I mean, they're just absolutely delightful, delightful sets here. So those are the kind of three ways to get into the secret garden. And then once you're kind of in there, it's about telling that story, Helen. So for example, this beautiful set here, yeah. or here's another one where she's sitting there we've just used it as like a centerpiece i mean this is a z fold card how fabulous is that that is one of the stamp sets so stamp set wise let's just have a little look this is the one here that we're talking about so it's the little girl in the tree now you've got her in the tree helen and then we've also got her peeking through that little door so that's the artwork here now for anyone who loves our spectrum noir pens helen loves to color these are just absolutely divine to color really really something different same with this next one you've then got this lovely big tree so you've got this like centerpiece tree but it's all designed to work so if you're doing like those lovely gates you've got the tree behind the gate i just think this would make such a stunning wedding card as well really lovely designs so those are the stamp sets that go with i'm still going helen there's loads more to go at right Right. Then we've got a couple of embellishment sets. Go on, sorry, Helen. No, no. The, I was going to say you're getting all the, you're getting all the stamps, all the dies. You're getting the um, embossing folder. So this is a huge kit, and Sarah's going to continue to go over this. But you can check it out on HSN.com and see every little piece. But Sarah, we'll go back to you. I want you to finish telling everybody what we get. Yeah, I'm, I'm still only about halfway through the kit, Helen. So then you've got this lovely big stamp set, which is the one you're going to do here where you've got the stamps and the dies to do the outline cut because we don't want to be cutting that out by hand, definitely not. And then look at this set of accessory pieces. So you've got like these lanterns, you've got the floral spray, so that cards like this, you've got all these little accessories to tell the story and these have all been hand illustrated by our team, Helen. So those are all of your dies and your stamps and your embossing folders. And then you know that it wouldn't be a big crafters companion collection without an incredible paper pad so if i show you on the overhead camera you'll see these papers now all these papers helen are double-sided so you've got a beautiful design on the underside equally as nice as the front so we call it like a double a track where you've got beautiful designs on both. And can you see the kind of depth and dimension in the coloration of these? The paper pad, by the way, was available as like an extra purchase on its own, completely sold out. Hundreds of you have got it. It's just a beautiful design set, Helen. I'm gonna tell you, when you get this one and start working with it, you'll love these papers. Right, and there's also a vellum pad that goes back with it that's in the secret garden. Yes, there is. There's fewer than 300 in the vellum pad. pad. That's very, very limited. It, the, oh, the paper pad extra is sold out. Okay, so we're going to continue on. I'm going to scooch over here for our next item with Sara. Okay, this is brand new. This is safe for our show. This is the only airing, and it is a sparkle ink and um, resist pad set. <laughs> So, Sara, I have, you know, before the show, I go to hsn.com and I watch the videos to see you doing things. But this is brand new. No one's ever seen it. So I'm just going to go right back over to you to, for you to show us this brand new because I love sparkle. Anything with sparkle, you oh, have me at sparkle. Oh, you love this. <laughs> So, so what you've got, Helen, is you've got two brand new books, right? And in the books, each book has 12 pages. And when you look at them, they look like empty pages because it's got invisible ink on. So what you do is you put a little bit of color over the invisible ink and it gives you this beautiful pattern in the background. Now you've got one book that just has all the pattern designs and then a book that has like inspirational quotes so that when we do a little bit of a paint over, you're going to get these beautiful backgrounds have courage in your convictions so let me just show you how it works helen right if i take that little book and i'm just going to have a little flick through let's have a look do what you love you probably can't even see this right but if i take the do what you love and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of those sparkle inks, Helen, and I'm just going to mix a couple of these colours. So I've decanted the sparkle inks into a little kind of uh, pad like this. And then I'm going to do one colour. 
straight into the next one and kind of merge the two together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wait for them to dry. And you can see I'll kind of artificially dry that along a little bit. As I start and dry it, you can see it resists where we've got that kind of invisible ink. So you get the background and then you get the invisible ink kind of shows up afterwards. Does that make sense? So yes. all you're doing is splodging colour over. Now, what I've done is so that you can see them all, I've actually splodged colour over all the designs so that you can see what the sentiments are, what the background pieces are going to be. And what I'm giving you is I'm giving you both of the sets and then I'm giving you one pack of three of the colours. So this is the special sparkling. And it's the one, you can probably not see it so much through my camera, but oh, you can a little bit. When the light bounces off it, you can see it's got that iridescent sparkle built into it. So all of these are like splodgy backgrounds with the iridescent sparkles. So you get three colours in the set, but we've got more of those sparklings available on the website. And then they just make into beautiful kind of background cards, just layering them up onto other pieces of cardstock. And then as well as that's the inspirational quartz set, Helen. So that's this one here, 12 designs there. Then we've also got another 12 designs, which are your patterns. So can you see, we've got things like the beautiful birds, the florals. And what I've done here is instead of just splodging color all over, I've painted in, it's only invisible ink through the camera. What you'll see is when yeah, you kind I of can get them see home, it. you can see where I don't it know is. if we've, yeah. I've, I've got one of these here, but I don't know if I turn the camera, if you're able to see, you can, I can kind of see it. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, you could kind of see it when the light kind of hits it like just right. Oh, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do it so the light just hits it right. You can sign, you can, you can kind of see it when I go like that. You see, you see the outlines. I see what you're saying. And it, it does. It looks like just like a blank paper. But when you go like this. But you can also use those sparkle um, inks for other things, right? So many things. It's yeah, it's the same ink as what we have in our pens. It's just been in, it's in a jar where you get a whole 30 mil of it. So if you can see, I just want to paint with it. I mean, I love that just splodging over the background. But if you want to start and get really intricate, uh, let me just get a little bit of... Here we go, if I do a little bit of colouring. So I've just decanted a couple of the colours into here just to make it a little bit easier for the camera. You see, I'm mixing it up. As I start and mix it, can you see that sparkle really comes to life? And then all we do is we're putting it the, into the middle of the butterfly. And what I love about these, Helen, is you can kind of mix all brand new colours. So you can see the invisible ink there coming together. And then I can mix it with a little bit of the hot pink in here. And we can blend, of course, where we get blue and pink blending together, we're going to get this gorgeous new shade of purple so you're going to get that whole bleaching effect kind of coming in as we're starting to blend it together and then so you, you it's not just the colors that come in the set Helen you're going to be mixing all your own brand new shades and then as I just you're going to wait for yours to dry but I'm going to kind of artificially dry this just so that you can see that special effect where it just releases the pattern in the background and you can see here where I've done the whole of the background, we've painted all of these bits and created our own really stunning background pieces, Helen. And you don't have to be super uber talented. You could be a brand new beginner crafter, picking these up for the first time and just having a go at kind of creating these lovely watercolour backgrounds. I think fabulous for brand new newbies and people who are kind of really creative and wanting something a little bit different to try, Helen. All right, well, I actually don't have any examples out here. We're gonna stay with you, Sarah, because the price mm -hmm. is $36.95 for FlexPay of $9.24. Remember, fill your cart. You guys love it on craft days when we do one shipping, you know, uh, price, and then you fill your cart, you fill your cart all day long, you know, 20 things, 30 things. It's only $9.95 to fill your cart shipping. Uh, that's really beautiful. And this almost reminds me of kind of like the way your watercolors blend. End. Yes, it is. well, they are a, they're a watercolor ink, Helen, that has this sparkle built into them. And I just think it's so nice if you just want to do just like a lovely watercolor wash over the background. Look how easy that is to do. All you're doing is literally picking up one of the background cards. So you've got all these designs to choose from. There's that one that's in the set. And then we're just coming straight in with our, our brush in the background and you're just painting over. So as soon as I get it going, you're really picking up that little bit of color there. Can you see the color in the background? And as yep. soon as we start to paint, you're getting that resist coming straight through. And then we're gonna merge from one color into the next one. We're even mixing our own brand new colors here. 
and you can see that watercolour background. I, it's a technique that I love to do. It's basically, Helen, for those of you who are advanced card makers, it's like what you would achieve on your own if you were to do it with like a um, a, a white embossing heat, you know, like a an embossing powder on the background there. But not everybody has access to like white embossing and big stamps like this. So we've created the background pieces just for you to add all of your own colour to so that then when you start adding the colour, you just get these fat. I mean, look at this one here. That mm. is just a beautiful kind of all over swirl in the background that we've added our own color to and i feel like it's a way for you to be creative helen without having to actually know where to start this is called this is like verging on mixed media techniques and for a lot of people me myself included i really want to do these mixed medium kind of messy crafting techniques i just have absolutely no idea where to start so now you can kind of see how it works. I'm just going to run you through all of the designs again. So just to be clear, you are getting two pads. So you get the pad with all the designs in. So this one here is like, it's called the floral resist pad. And you can see on the back, you get the 12 different florals. And then you're going to get the inspirational quartz resist pad with all of these quartz on the background. And I think once you see the designs, it makes a lot more sense. So we've got these lovely big swirls that we've just splattered over. Oh, I should really show you as well, Helen, as well as the two pads. These are the three colours that you're getting in your sparkle link. So can you see we've got a really intensive, a blue, a pink and a peach in there. All the sparkles kind of built in. You can really see it when you look at it. That's how it looks kind of with no sparkle in. And as soon as you get the sparkle activated, these are the sparkle pieces that you get. So you're getting all these background designs and then also all of the inspirational quotes that I'm going to show you too, all together in one kit. This, I mean, this and is And they incredible. mix and match to create new colors too, right? Yes. So the, the idea is we give you three shades within the rainbow. Like you saw, there was no purple in that kit, yet I was able to merge the blue and the pink to create my own shade of purple to go into the butterfly. And that's the beauty of these. You can create all your own new shades by mixing colours as we're going along. So what we do have, though, Helen, for those of you who absolutely love the sparkle jars. Uh, them sparkle jars are one of our core items. We've just restocked them at HSN. So we've restocked them for the first time in years, Helen. All of them are available on hsn.com. So if you want the vibrant oranges and you want the greens, you can mix all the colors together yourself. You can go and have a look on hsn.com. While we've got that great shipping deal on, choose all the colors that are your favorites. All right, well, keep shopping. The item number is 786700. We have lots more goodies. It's an hour all about Crafter's Companion. Coming up, already popular, we have the Gemini Delicate Floral Outline dies. Um, these are wafer-thin metal dies, intricate detail. You can use them as simple embellishments in your paper crafting projects. Paper, um, you can do paper pieces with them and colored cardstock or place them on watercolor backgrounds as a focal point. Point. These are $19.95. You see the florals, absolutely beautiful, and they are brand new. Already, already popular. So we're going to continue on. I just want to mention something else. This is going to be like a quick little hello. So if you are thinking about holiday gift giving, and I know, you know, a lot of us are, and we know that we're going to order our holiday gifts early this season because they're shipping this and supply chain that. I think for the Crafters Companion fan in your life a reusable folding tote two pack would be a great choice for you floral and purple or purple cheetah and black so either you get the solid black and the purple cheetah or the solid purple and the floral. And these fold up like this. So if you're if you're going over and maybe crafting at a friend's house, you you know, you could put put this in your purse, and then when you're done with your crafting pot project, you can unfold it and bring them on whole home, right, Sarah? Exactly, Helen. Now, can I just tell you, we were asked to make these specifically for this HSN November craft event. So this is Crafters Companion's 14-year anniversary with HSN. So they said, could we make something special, something exclusive for HSN? So we've made these beautiful kind of reusable totes, but in the Crafters Companion pattern. So a lot of you will have maybe the big wheelie bag, maybe you've got our little craft totes. Now you've got the shopping totes 
tote that's going to go with it. And like you said, they're a two pack. So you're either going to get the one that's the crafters floral that comes with the purple bag, or we have that lovely um, purple cheetah. I love the purple cheetah. And again, it all rolls up. It's just going to fit in your handbag. Well, you all know, we've all got a few of these reusable craft totes, haven't we, Helen, in our, uh, in our handbags. But isn't it nice to have them in the large size in the crafters companion colors that match everything else that you've got in your craft room? Brilliant for when you're either going out shopping or maybe you're chucking all of your 12 by 12 pads in there and going to a croft to your friend's house. Lovely big kind of craft tote there. Right, exactly. And of course, you could use it as a shopping tote. You could use it for all sorts of things. But we wanted to do a quick little hello on that. 773-759. We are live on Facebook. So I want to do a shout out to Brenda from Kentucky, Linda from Maryland, Sue from Michigan. We, we love that you're engaging with us on Facebook. We're live on Facebook right now. And also, all the questions I know... Um, We've got people asking questions. There's someone from Crafters Companion who's answering those questions. So keep keep your questions going. Speaking about Facebook, I do want to mention that tomorrow at 7 p.m., I'm doing a Facebook Live on HSN's Facebook page. Um, it's a beauty gift giving. So I've got a bunch of beauty gifts that I've put together for a Facebook Live on HSN's Facebook page. And it'll also be on my Facebook page, which is Helen Keeney HSN. That's tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm also doing an Instagram takeover of HSN's Instagram page tomorrow. So look for some fun stuff on that tomorrow. We're gonna continue on with the Crafters Companion Iris Folding Die and Template Set. Now I know that there's um, choices on this one, right? Because we have Glamour, English Rose, Party Time, and Up, Up and Away. So um, we've got the choices here. I hope I did that right. Um, here's you up, did. up, I'll and away. You, Helen. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it backwards because I see these balloons, which is just amazing. So you see the die uh, here, and then I love the kind of the paint by numbers. And then we've got the balloons here. Um, there's the uh, party time for the party time. And then there's the English rose and glamour. Glamour here is like a beautiful dress with the purse and the hanger and uh, the outline of the dress. And then this is that gorgeous, of course, English rose. So uh, I, I, I love that we're doing like all these kind of fun choices too today, Sarah. Come and I'll show you what iris folding is, Helen, and then the penny will drop and it'll all make sense, okay? So iris folding, when you're getting close on this, it's this technique that we have of folding paper behind a pattern. So can you see, there's that beautiful glamour one you were talking about, but the actual dress is made up of lots of strips of folded paper. The same if we get to the up, up and away. Can you see there? It's oh, a I hot see. air balloon, but it's made up of all this folded paper. Now, iris folding is an age-old technique. I remember 20 years ago Helen getting into iris folding and getting so frustrated because I just couldn't get the hang of it I wanted this look but it was really really complex knowing where to put all the pieces of paper what we've done is we've tried to demystify it and take away all of the thinking so let me show you like how you would go about making that beautiful rose okay in the set what we've done is if I show you that like if you go for the rose set for example this is the die cut. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a sheet of card and you're going to die cut that rose out. So I've used the die here to die cut the rose out. Then what we've done is we've made life easy by making you this template. So the template is going to be what you follow to stick the paper together. And then just to get you started, we've done this whole set of, I mean, you can use any paper you want, Helen, but we've like cut a load to size. Just throwing this in for free as, a, as like a bonus extra so that you can get going straight away. So watch how all of this works, okay? You're gonna take the template. So here is the template and it fits behind where we've got that design. So can you see, we can see there all of the numbers and the template just goes behind. Now, this is how Iris Folding works, Helen. We're gonna start with number one. I'm actually gonna ignore one, two, 12, because that's all the green bits down the bottom. I'm gonna focus on the row, so I'm gonna start with 13. So watch what you do. You take your first sheet of paper, and I'm gonna take like one of the light pink ones. You tear it out. They all fold in half so that you get like a nice crease line. And then watch what you do. Where we have number 13, 
We're going to line this up with the folded line over the edge of 13. We only need enough to cover over the 13. And then you're going to use a little piece of tape to stick it into place, okay? So we would go 13. And then he's 14 down here. So let's get another little piece of tape. You're going to put that on there. We're going to tear that off. And that's going to stick down number 14. And then 15 is over here. So again, we pop down 15, tear that off and stick down the number 15. And you're going to keep going all the way around. 16 is along here as well. And you add them all up. Now, once we've done 16, you'll notice as we start and get to 17, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and it goes over top of the first one. So there's 17 is going to line up over there. And this is how the whole technique of iris folding works. It lines up so that when you see it from the front, Helen, you'll see we're starting to get that layering of the paper. Can you see? So it's starting mm -hmm. to come in oh, together. I see. So then the next time we come in, you're going to go all the way around, and then the next one would be number 20 when we get round to this end. I'm going to kind of jump forward a few steps, otherwise it'll take me about 10 minutes to make the whole project, and we don't have 10 minutes. Although... 10 minutes is really super awesome when it comes to a technique like this, Helen, because you would it normally it would take you hours to work out where everything goes. So look at this. I'm going to imagine I've done um 25, 26. I'm just I'm I'm just trying to show you round this bottom corner, and then you'll get the idea of how the whole technique works. So that one would go in there. Uh, 25 would come across here and you're just going to follow them all the way around so when I show you now from the other side you can see that that's starting to build up and I here's one that I did live on Facebook on Sunday night Helen I followed all the way around all the way around finished in the center so that when we get to this middle piece it leaves you with this sort of pattern this is iris folding this is what so many people aspire to do but wouldn't know where to start. And actually that then, by the time you do the little bit of green as well, look how fabulous this looks. Now that's your rose, okay? So that is the rose one here and you can see how it all comes together. However, there's four designs for you to choose from. So within each one, you get the template, which is like the instructions for how it works. And the beauty with this is when people used to buy iris folding kits, Helen, you use it once and it's done. This way, you've got the die, which is a tool. You've got the template, which is a tool. So these will last forever. All you're going to do is use all of your own papers. So you can see there we've got the die and, and the template, which makes the rose. It's exactly the same if you want to go for the up, up and away. You're going to die cut out the balloon. And then you're going to start, can you see number one is down here? So we're going to go one and then two. We've got three, four, five, six, going all the way around. And it builds up this kind of shape where it looks like it's drawing you into the center of the balloon. And this is, I mean, it really is an age old technique. I don't want people to think that I've invented iris folding in any way, shape or form. Helen. It has literally been around for years and years. All I've done is said, I want to do this. I find that really complicated. I don't know where to get started. How can I make it easier for people? I'm going to put this template in here and I'm going to number everything up so that it becomes really easy for you. I love it. I love it. You know, I have to be honest, I've never heard of iris folding and today I don't have samples out here and I thought they were just um, paint by numbers and then dies, but that I see what you're doing. It's it's like the first time I saw that um, that. Uh, thing where you wrap the paper around in circles and make little roses. I can't remember what that's called now. Yes, Trilling yes, or something. Yes, quilling. <laughs> quilling, and right, again, quilling. A, a, another ancient technique. Helen, right, right, right. Just try to modernize and make it. So this this is the clever bit. I and would never figure days, out how to do it unless you had a template for me uh, ever in a million years. <laughs> And that was the problem, Helen. I love this. And only really, really advanced iris folding people would know how to do this. Now, anyone can do it. Because all you're going to do is you're going to take a square of card, die cut your balloon. You're then going to take your template. You're going to lie that back over the top. And then you're going to follow step by step. One, two, three, four, five, all the way around. Now, I know when you've got to remember, Helen, it's about 10 to 15 minutes to do a project like this one here. I had to kind of rush 
portrait and only do i didn't follow the numbers around one two three i just tried to show you with a little bit of a corner because like i said it took about 10 minutes to go all the way around this just shows you that i did this live on facebook on sunday night helen just to show everyone how from scratch you could put together a beautiful design and so many people were absolutely mesmerized it just shows you it, it's so easy to do once you've got the technique and the trick and again let's have a little look if i've got the template under here here we go so because you can see all of those numbers and this template gets reused over and over again so you just line that over and you're always just following one number at a time you're taking the scrap of card fold it over and you would just go there's 31 fold it over hold it down stick it down and then you would go from 31 onto 32 onto 33 and that's your iris folding done and it's so you know it's mesmerizing because I've I've never seen this actually done before, but I see the finished product and I have I would never figure it out. I love that you've made it so easy for us, Sara. Come with me. We're going to continue on. We've only we're halfway done with our hour, so we're going to jump in now to the Crafters Companion Roses and Vines Layering Dies. So I've got four choices actually. One of them is Roses and Vines, which is this one right here. I also have have florals and butterflies that's this one and this one is peonies and peacocks so when when you i think oh it's is it it's it's like um oh okay i thought maybe it was like they glue stuff down a lot so this is thin watch me i can't with my nails i can't get this up sarah let me hold it up there so here you go you've got these beautiful peacock designs that i wanted to show this way that how slim these are and how incredible these dies are. So these are layering dies, and it's $24.95 for flex pay of $6.24. I immediately gravitated to the peacock because I don't think I've ever seen this before in a die, Sarah. You won't have done, Helen. I certainly hadn't. Mm -mm. And what we've done is, you know we're really well known for intricate dies. So we've just done beautiful, really intricate dies. So each one's a set of two. So I'll show you the pairs that come together. That peacock one that you love is this design here, Helen. That's incredible. So whether you're cutting it, isn't it lovely? It's and beautiful. All we've done is done a basic card, stuck it onto the front of the card. It's the same with this one here. I love this design. It's like all of the background pieces. Just done a nice background effect, but just layered that once in the black and once in the colored element, and it gives you that whole over the front panel. And that's the same design as this one here. Just looks totally different when that's done. So that's done with our sparkle paint that we saw we had on earlier, and then just die cut into the base. So I've just got to show you, Helen, for those who are quite new to this and wondering, you know, what you would do. So if I take, like, for example, that peacock die, and I love the idea that we can cut even with, like, a glitter card like this, you can take the peacock die, and we can just cut straight in. I'm going to go, because it's uh, in quite an intricate shape, and we're cutting into glitter card. I'm going to go into my glitter card in using the... Um, Oh, the, magne the, the metal shim, so that we've got a little bit of extra bite. I'm going to go straight through here, and I'm going to cut it once with the, um, the metal shim with the gold. And then I've also got some lovely, like, turquoise peacocky colour. So we're going to do it once in the gold, and then if I just tap that out like that, you can see the die-cut piece, even though it's such an intricate die, it die cuts to perfection. And then we do exactly the same, but this time in the uh, turquoise. And again, I'm just gonna put the whole collection together. It's nine seconds straight through your Gemini. And these will cut in any die cutting machine. It doesn't have to be a Gemini machine. You can literally put it through any die cutting machine that you have at home and they'll cut perfectly. And then when I lift this out, again, I'm just tapping the back of this to take all the pieces out. And you can see there, the turquoise over top of the gold kind of gives it that double layer effect, can you see? And what I've done with this one, Helen, is, I, if, is I've pieced a couple of little bits of color on top of there, so that if I put that over, you get like a, a shadow effect from the peacock, and then they literally sit on top. I've just done a base card here, using some really vibrant colors, sit the peacock feathers on top there, and then they're gonna look, because we've done it in acetate, 
I've got the finished one here. They look like they are literally floating through the centerpiece of the card. I mean, is that not the most incredible design? I and love the peacocks. The peacocks. Just one of them. Right, just, exactly. Because we also have with. the roses in the vines, which is also beautiful. Mm -hmm. The roses in the vines. Well, that's the peacock one there, and the peacock comes in a collection, so it's paired up. For $24.95, you get two. You get the peacock, and then you get those beautiful big floral pieces. This one, by the way, wonderful to color or wonderful to paper piece. Then your second option, which is this one here, this is coming, this is your elegant butterfly one. Uh, sorry, this is the elegant butterfly one underneath here. And the butterfly comes in conjunction with the floral one. And the butterfly one, Helen, is really beautiful because it's the one where you can lift up the wings of all the butterfly panels. So on this one here, we've lifted them up and just added a little bit of color to the edge and it gives that beautiful all over the back background panel effect. So the butterfly comes in with the florals. And then the last set that we've got it's got those fabulous vines in. So that's your all over background panel with the vines. And we have the vines and then also the all over rose piece. So just different designs. So you see with those roses, this one here has been die cut in the blue and then just use our Spectrum Noir pens to color in the inside, Helen, to give it a little bit of kind of depth and dimension. Don't they look fabulous? And ev every one of these cards looks so different, yet they are just die-cut panels stuck onto the front of a card. Just very, very effective. I think the simplicity with these, Helen, is the kind of key to their effectiveness. And what size of machine will these go through, Sarah? Yep, so they will fit through your Gemini Junior. If you're wanting to use them on like your Diamond Press Marquise that's on today, they'll fit through there. They're not an overly big size die. So they're, they're a statement piece, but they are going to fit. They're, they're pretty much like a four by six size die. So they're going to fit through all of your regular die cutting machines on there. If you are using a, a manual die cut machine, you might want to add a metal shim in there for a little bit of detail. But look how, how they, they're, like, they're intricate without being too in your face, I think is the way it, the way to describe them. Well, the peacock is the most popular. Um, I think everybody at home like me, it's like, I've never seen anything like that before. So here, here is the die. And again, this is $24.95. You'll be able to use this. You get this beautiful flora with it as well. And this is the die. Um, and uh, my favorite is Sara's technique where she just sort of slams it on the table to get all the little bits and pieces out. I know you could have, get like a little, um, I know Crafter's Companion has that tools where you poke out all the little pieces, but slamming it on the table works just as well, Sara. <laughs> Yeah, I always slam it at the, at, the, at the back of the die so we don't damage anything. You know I haven't got a lot of patience, Helen. You've, you've, you have met me before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, right. girl. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to go for the next one. So I'm going to do that beautiful butterfly design now. So again, I'm popping my butterflies on. I'm using the metal shim just because it's quite intricate. I'm going with my clear magnetic top plate and I'm going to send that through. Now, when you're wanting to do uh, things like the butterfly wings lifting, what you're going to do is have a look, see if I've got a purple ink pad here. I'm going to, uh, here it is on the top. I knew I'd have one somewhere. Right, so when I take this, Helen, you can see there at this point, this is when I do the tap. So I always tap, not the end where the die cut is, I tap the back panel here. Ooh. So I give that a really good tap so that you don't kind of damage the die. And then when I lift this out, you've got those butterfly wings ready to lift up. Now watch how you can be really clever with this. You can take another piece of scrap card, protect the back panel here. And then if I just use like a little finger dauber and I get a little bit of purple on here, I can just put purple just around the outside of that butterfly wing. See that there? And it only puts it Ooh. on the butterfly wing. Oh, that's Isn't beautiful. Isn't that really clever? So yeah, just it really makes it, it pop and look three-dimensional. Does, doesn't it? I love, I love this technique. So you're going to just hide it behind and you get all that panel where you can just literally lift the wings up. So on this one here, what I've done is I've added a little bit of colour onto all of those butterfly wings. And then if you want to be really clever, which I love the effect of this, I'm going to lift all these wings up, Helen. So the butterfly one, remember, it's coming in with like a floral spray as well. So you've got like different techniques that you can work with. But, uh, you know, I'm you know I'm a fan of an old butterfly, Helen. I'm an absolute sucker when it comes to butterflies on my cards. That's my favorite thing. So I've lifted all those wings up. I've then also done another one just in the purple cardstock. So I've just cut it out of plain purple cardstock, but a really deep shade here. So that when we layer that up on top, 
what you get is you get the kind of shadow effect of the deep purple Ooh, going behind that. there. Oh, that looks that gorgeous. That looks really effective. And then all you're going to do with that is literally layer it onto the front panel of a card. And that is a really big kind of show stopping piece as it was. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? That is incredible. And then the finished card is this one here. So it just shows you there's loads and loads of different ones that you can do, Helen. I was just trying to give everybody like a bit of an idea, whether it's the butterflies, whether it's those intricate flowers. Look at this, the big open panels with little bits of that sparkle ink on look really fantastic. Or use the paper piecing. They're brilliant for paper piecing these. So paper piecing is where we pop the bits of paper from another color back into the inside. Just shows you the sort of effects that you're gonna get, Helen. I love it. I like. I mean, that's very, very dramatic. Over 240 have already been purchased. You see the little counter on the screen. So I know everybody's loving it. Uh, we've got a couple more items in this show, but I do want to mention that we have amazing gifts and top brands and deals that you'll only find at hsn.com. We make it easy to shop for gifts this holiday with over uh, thousands of products all the time and offers you'll only see at hsn.com. Get more of what you love and the gifts you'll love now on hsn.com. Sn.com. So we're going to continue on with um, Sara. We just, again, we have just like a couple more items and we're going to go to the floral outline dies. So I'm looking at these and a lot of, you know, I usually, I just, these are the floral outline dies. So what you're getting is the Gemini metal die elements, pretty posy. You're getting four piece of the uh, metal die elements and fabulous florals and two pieces in the blooming botanicals. So you're getting a one and then a two and then a four piece. And these are very delicate. See if I can even like slide this up to pick them up. I mean, even just like having a leaf you will use this so much to finish off your pieces Sara. yeah the idea with these helen is that uh, delicate to the word they are incredibly fine detailed eyes that give you that kind of really abstract look to your cards so whether it's just adding little butterflies all over the background or maybe you want to have these big abstract floral pieces that you then paper piece back into or Things like that big showcase piece that we've got here, that beautiful floral. Now, the sort of cards that I love to do, Helen, are things like this. So can you see where we've done like a little bit of watercolor splodging in the background with those sparkle inks and then added some of these layering florals onto the front? Or where we're going really, really simple like this one here and we're just doing a nice big statement sentiment and then a few little die cut panels across the top. It's one of those less is more type of cards. So look at this one here. I love this idea. I've done one of my fancy kind of special effect backgrounds and then added these detail, uh, flor well, the dragonflies or the florals on some of them. Always the same effect. Slimline cards, they're absolutely brilliant for to add all of your special effect backgrounds and then put the outline dies on. So there are two options, okay? So if I just run you through the two different options, the set, which is the florals, Helen, you've got that big showcase floral piece that I was talking about. You've then got the four piece, which is the one that's got that lovely leaf in that you really liked as well. And then you've got the two piece of the kind of big open florals. So that's the floral collection. So florals one, the other collection's called Flutterby. Mm -hmm. And it's got, not surprisingly, the butterflies in there as well. But it's got the butterflies and, oh, and I love this butterfly, by the way. We've never done anything like this before. It's also got a pack of the three dragonflies in. That's what I'm going to die cut for you now to show you. So the dragonflies be beautifully and then also these lovely kind of wire effect of the flowers you can see how they're really intricate and delicate can't yeah. you Helen really easy to work with but they're not intricate dyes so let me just show you if I want to do like those dragonflies look I've got some uh, different types of cardstock here and I'm just going to show you how beautifully well they cut so just working into like um some glitter card and using that dragonfly going straight into here even though we're just going through the gemini mini it will cut in that mirror card through your gemini mini absolutely no problem at all and you see that's just popped popped straight out and then by the time we just release out all of these little pieces i should do me little tapping on the edge shouldn't i again <laughs> um and then it saves me popping out all of these little elements but you can see how delicate that um the dragonfly is, and I think that's the beauty of all of these, Helen. You've got that kind of delicateness. Now, I like to do it once in the, um, what's that, the rose gold, 
and then we can go and do exactly the same in the pink and layer it all up. So just always make sure that you've, you've emptied your die out so you haven't got extra little die cut pieces. Otherwise, what happens is you force them into the die and then they're an absolute nightmare to clean out. So just clean your die out before we go there. I can do exactly the same again. So I'm just layering it up straight through the mini again. And then what I love about this is in just a couple of seconds, we've done our own dragonflies. And you'll see here, once there, right, I'm going to do the tap. There's the tap. There's the tap and no pieces to kind of take out. Look at that, then it's perfect. And then I can take a little bit of tape, Helen, and just stick the middle of that dragonfly to the middle of this dragonfly here. And we've got this gorgeous little delicate dragonfly with its little skeleton wings lifting up that you can add onto a card. So look at this card that I've done here. It's got these beautiful little dragonflies that you just add all the way around the card. And it just... Sending heartfelt thanks, but then there's little dragonflies on the top just make all the difference. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just so simple to do, wasn't it? Yeah, and you're able to do this with your mini and to create these little, I mean, you could even put these on gift tags. They're so delicate. Yes. You can put them onto anything, Helen. And I think whether it's the dragonflies or on this one here, it's the beautiful butterflies. And I think this is a, I love these styles of cards. The kind of uh, triangle tent fold cards. But look there, just how we've got those butterfly wings again, like the dragonflies lifting up. Uh, again, the same butterflies, different style of card. You've got the skeleton effect on the leaves just lifting up from there. Now, the butterflies all come in with the dragonflies and come in with those beautiful florals in the background. So you saw in the background there, that's the like the florals. So this is it here. That's the set of florals that we're talking about. All the skeleton leaves, and then they come in a set with the dragonflies. And you get all of these for 19.95, guys. It's not like a, you know, each set of these should be 9.99, but you're essentially kind of like buying two, getting the third one for free. That's your butterflies and dragonflies collection, which is called Flutterby. And then the set of florals, you've got this lovely big kind of showcase daisy. These are all designed to paper piece back into there, Helen. And then also your outline floral, so that's a four-pack piece. And then that lovely big centerpiece. I've used this mm -hmm. one so many times. That, that card that I showed you earlier, it's just a fabulous one to work with. And again, I'm just taking each one of these. So if I want to go back in with me, me. And all I'm going to do is say, right, we'll, uh, we'll get these dies out. So there's the two pack of these dies. And when we're wanting to work with these, Helen, just little piece, I'm going straight in. And whether it's your Gemini Mini or any, any other die cutting machine, Helen, they're not intricate dies. So they're not difficult to be able to die cut. It's literally a two minute job. And then tapping all the pieces out the back. And then look how lazy and intricate they are. Now, I've tapped the pieces and they're all over the floor. But actually, if you wanted to paper piece them, what you would do is you would keep all of these pieces in the black. And then when you do, like, here's the one that I cut in the red. I cut the base piece in the red and I pieced all of these back in to the gap. So you can see that piece there is what came out of this piece here. So when you piece it back in, this is called the paper piecing technique. But I just think that is such a beautiful, delicate background. And then look, that's been used onto one of those sparkle effect watercolor backgrounds makes a really fancy looking card, doesn't it? Well, we're gonna go another minute on this, Sara. It's very, very popular. You can see almost 400 now have been ordered, 350, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you would like to jump in, the item number is 078777. Um, they are loving, everybody at home really wants the dragonfly butterfly configuration. That's, I mean, dragonflies yeah. are so beautiful, so popular with crafters, right, Sara? Well, that's it. And the thing is, I want to show you as well, even though that's quite an intricate die, Helen. So where's my little dragonfly gone? Here it is, right? I can take one of those dragonflies and we can even cut it out of glitter card, right? So I can take in here, I can pop my glitter card in, and even though we're just using this in like a really, we're going to use it in the Gemini Mini, so it's just a manual die cutting machine, I can take these, piece a couple of these into here, I can do two at once straight through the machine, 
and we can be cutting out dragonflies from glitter cards. I, I think the reason they've probably been so popular, Helen, is that you don't ha they don't have to be standalone pieces. They are going to embellish all of your other card projects. And that's the beauty of these. You are literally adding dragonflies or butterflies or florals onto all of your other projects, no matter what the background is. I mean, this card here that I did was just like a heartfelt thanks, but how much better does it look with the dragonflies on? Gorgeous. I mean, beautiful. I love it with the glitter cards. I mean, a glitter dragonfly. All right, the item number again, 078777. We only have one more item with Sarah, and I can tell you we previewed this at the top. Already very, very popular, and it's a this day only. What does that mean? That means it's like a today special, so at the end of the day, the price goes away. So you only have a couple more hours. It's almost 7 p.m. over here on the East Coast, and at midnight East Coast time, the price goes goes away, which is 9 p.m. Uh, West Coast time. So it's a customer pick on hsn.com and you are getting a massive bundle. So if you want to do your Christmas cards, you are getting everything you need. 32 envelope seal stickers, 32 blank cards, 32 regular envelopes, 105 clear stamps. You are getting uh, paper foil inserts. You're getting 16. Uh, you're getting 16 vellum inserts. You're getting the stationary binder that I have here. And then you're also getting a, a crystal pen. And let me show you the pen, even the crystal pen. Look at this. It's a beautiful pen with crystals. So you're going to be enjoying every moment of creating these beautiful cards. So look at that with the crystals here. <laughs> so so every, every element of this. Now we took $50 off, $50 off, and it's still part of the um, fill your cart. So uh, I know Sarah's got all of, all of the um, stamps, but this is, again, a huge collection. So I'll go over to Sarah and she's gonna start, you know, she'll tell you everything that you're getting, but this is almost too much to go through in eight minutes and 35 seconds. <laughs> I'll keep you right, Helen, don't worry. So the okay. idea is, okay, I don't know about you, but for the holiday season, I make a lot of cards, like a couple of hundred cards. I do them for my sister, my mum and dad, my brother-in-law, the grandparents. I do them for my nieces and nephews. You know, everybody, you can do everybody a card. But what we need is, Helen, we need the personalised insert for that. So, for example, you want to do a card for your brother. How nice is it to have a beautiful sentiment that reads, brother, always feeling lucky to have such a great brother and always wishing you and your family lots of love happiness and good health at this time of year brother have a fantastic christmas or maybe it's your mom and dad and you're doing mom and dad with love at christmas wishing you both a very special christmas full of happy moments and lots of love how much more professional does that card look whoever you're making it for you're doing it and personalizing not only the front but then also the inside this is the beauty of it. You're personalizing the front. You know, grandma and grandpa, how gorgeous is this? And then you've got that personalized sentiment. Uh, sharing the season together is the greatest gift of all. So what I've done, Helen, is I've created you the perfect library. This is the set that is the library. So when I say library, every year at Christmas time, you're gonna get this down off the shelf and you're gonna say, right, who am I making the card for? I've got a whole set of stamps here. These are all my different options for mom and dad, right? So we've got mom, believe in the magic of Christmas. We've got just for you, dad. We've got ones for mom and dad. We've got ones for the front of your card card, ones for the verse on the inside of your card, that's your mom and dad sheet. Then we've got ones for brothers and sisters. We've got ones for grandparents. We've got ones for grandchildren. We've got ones for neighbors. We've got ones for friends. You've literally covered every different eventuality. Look at that daughter and son on there. We've got everybody that you would want to send cards for for Christmas. Plus also we've got all of your generic ones. Now, Helen, here's the thing right? If you were to go into a store and buy each of these as individual stamps, you'd be talking, what, I mean, at best, $1.99 a stamp, probably $2.99, $3.99, but let's say there were a couple of dollars a stamp. There are over 100 stamps. So that is $200 worth of stamps in this library, all organized. And from a crafter's point of view, I don't want to go and buy one for grand and grand down, one for mom. I want the library with everything in. So a dollar a stamp, <laughs> at $99, fantastic value. However, because this was a today's special, 
back in September and you're getting the today special pricing today, what you get is you get the library and then you get this as a bonus free gift. So this is what we're all happy paying $99 for. Great value for money. That's what we all need. This isn't a need. This is just a want. This is just a really nice to have, Helen. So if I show you, this is like your little gift from me, 230 pieces. When I open this up, it's the matching stationery set that goes with it. So you say, I open it up. It's all beautifully tissue wrapped. And this is where you've got things like your envelope seals. You've got 32 cards and envelopes in different sizes in lovely Christmas colors we've got all of these beautiful inserts so that when you've made your card you put the insert on the inside and we've got them in both printing and then also with a lovely vellum effect so if you want the like the fancy vellum insert so did you see these lovely cards here like the brother one i did this is your vellum insert that goes around it and that's where you've also got, Helen, that lovely crystal pen. So 32 cards and envelopes, the seals, the inserts, and even the little crystal pen. And that is your bonus gift when you buy the library. Bear in mind, we're all quite happy buying the library at $99 because that's our investment for the next 20, 30 years of all of your Christmas cards taken <laughs> care of. <laughs> right. It's like when you're buying a new pair of shoes, <laughs> Helen, and you, you justify it over the amount of years you're going to be able to wear them shoes. Your feet <laughs> aren't going to change size when you get to a certain age, so you know you can keep getting them out every christmas you're still going to make cards for the neighbors for the grandkids for the for your sister for your brother-in-law all you know is you're going to go to this compendium and get out exactly the verse that you need now you can see here just how easy it is to put this together it doesn't matter if this is your first christmas making christmas cards or you've been doing it for years and you've just never had anything to go on the inside of your card every one of you out there watching today if, if you're if you're a card maker and you are doing cards for Christmas, you absolutely need this kit because it's going to be everything you need for the inside. Let me show you how easy it is to do, right? So I've got a nice card here that's for a daughter. Maybe this is for your daughter that you're giving it. I don't have a daughter. This is me just giving the idea if I was maybe making cards to sell, but it looks really plain on the inside at the moment. Well, watch what happens when I take one of the inserts out of the extra kit. So this is out of that bonus extra gift kit. This is the vellum that I talked about, Helen. And we do have more of the vellum inserts if you want to get more of the fancy ones. Um, online or you can just use plain vellums or plain printed cardstock so look what I do is I put a little bit of tape on the inside and I've personalized the inside of that card with my kind of can you see I've just put that on the inside now it looks nice at the moment but it's plain watch what we would do we would bring in our stamp set and we'd go through all the things. So there's your mum and dad. We've got ones here for... Bro oh, this is brother and sister. Was that on? It was daughter we'd done a card for, wasn't it? Uh, grandma and grandpa here. This is for someone very special at Christmas. Right, here we go. To my daughter, may your Christmas sparkle and your New Year shine. Or to a special daughter with love at Christmas. With love at Christmas to our daughter. I quite like that. So you take the stamp that you want to work with, Helen. You're just going to pop it onto like a, any sort of stamp block pad or whatever it is. And then because we're matching in with the silver, I'm going to use a nice silver ink pad. So you take the ink to the stamp, and this is the same for every one of those hundred and odd stamps. You're just going to stamp it down. And now we've got a card that's got a perfect personalized matching insert. And I just think how much more special is that? I don't know about you, Helen, but when I used to buy cards before I made them, I would always look at the cards in the shop, and then I would go and have a look on the inside and see what the verse was like on the inside. And I used to make my purchasing decision based on what the inside of the card looked like or what mm -hmm. it read like. This is your way to make all the insides of your cards look yeah, absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's a forever perfect. customizable, and it's $50 off, and it's part of the Fill Your Cart special. By the way, if you don't have an HSN card, this would be a genius move to get the HSN card and take the $40 off of this. So you have $50 off, take another $40 off. Now you're at $59.99. So go to hsn.com, put an HSN card in the search, or call the 800 number 695-1418 and use that one-time coupon for the 
this Crafters Companion bundle. And you're right, you, one thing you know is next year you're also gonna make Christmas cards. So you're able to use all these choices. And I like that it's not just one stamp for your daughter, for your mom, for your dad. So you can use different stamps over the years. Happy holidays. I even saw one for Hanukkah in there, season's greetings for different, for different friends, uh, New Year's. It's really fabulous, Sara. So I know you've got a long day and your feet have to like really be hurting all that dancing, all that, <laughs> all that, all that they crafting. <laughs> all right. They really do, Helen. <laughs> all right. I am a huge fan and I can't wait to see what happens next. And I'm very excited for you and excited for all of you that are picking up the amazing items from Crafters Companion. Check out hsn.com. Thank you, Sara, uh, for mm -hmm. more Crafters Companion items. Uh, Thanks, please Helen. stay tuned. Yeah because Suzanne is coming up next. She is our resident actual crafter, as opposed to me that points at things. She's got a show. You know that's true. Uh, <laughs> get crafty with Suzanne. It's coming up next. At HSN, we love our crafters. So we're bringing you top-rated picks crafters love. It was so easy to use. Plus, experts will share their top tips. It's our crafting event happening all day today. Celebrate the holidays your way as HSN and QVC present the $50,000 Holiday Sweepstakes. Enter daily for a chance to win the $50,000 grand prize. Plus, play our instant win game for a chance to win other prizes from hot brands. Visit hsn.com and search sweepstakes. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart.